Castle. We're in the middle of about a two-week swing of the uh, UK, playing some beautiful symphony halls, and uh, we're just off to Glasgow tonight. This is our bus. Here's Graham. Say hi, Graham. Hi. Well, we've got your front lounge, your bunks. This is my world here. My little cubby hole. Now look, it's even got a port window. Isn't that lovely? And we've got a back lounge. And we've got another back lounge. With a TV with about 500 movies on the hard disk. So we're off to Glasgow and I'm going to try to interview Rob today and talk a little bit about the gear. Boys. Here we are at the Royal Concert Hall in Glasgow. We're going to go talk to Rob, do a little thing about my gear. Looks like another beautiful place to play. Rob, I need your help for a sec. This is JJ the Monitor Man. Say hello, JJ. Hello, JJ. <laughs> he makes sure I can hear myself. And over here we have Rob, who, look, is working on one of my bases. What are you doing, Rob? <laughs> what are you doing, Rob? I'm learning how uh, how much of a pain brasso is to. Well, we'll go. That looks beautiful. Does it? So I, wasn't uh, sure if I it only did. brought three braces this time. We've got the five string. And who else do we bring out this this the time? The four string and the three string. No, we also brought uh, Obi. Let's see Obi there. Todd built Obi as kind of a replacement for Mel, and then we've got uh, the red bass which is just a production model of the new re-release of the Urges. It sounds deadly. It sounds really yeah. good. It sounds really good. This is the first tour that I haven't brought Mel out with me because uh, he's just on his last legs and I'm really worried about having spinal uh, surgery. Having spinal surgery, getting cloned by Todd at the Custom Factory. 
Let's go look at the rig we're using here, Rob. What do we got going on? So, uh, now by London, you think we're going to get matched cabinets? I will, uh, I will say yes, definitely. Probably not right. You know, wait for the high drive stuff to come out, but until it does, I'm using the XLs. But we've got one XL.5 with the tweeter and one without, but it still sounds good, of course. And I've got my uh, trusty pedal board, a BNX, and uh, that's pretty, pretty straight ahead, isn't it? What? Bass, the pedal board, the Harky amp. Say hola, Ernesto. No, right now. What are you working on today? This is uh, the five string, the, uh, the mighty beautiful brass pick guard. Man, it hasn't looked that good in like six years. Uh, Tilt it up a little bit, will you, so we can get the little. Shine like that. So we need to uh, send Todd a list of, of, we need some new pots and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, we need some spares and we need. New knobs because they're all stripped. They'll come off. If they do come off, they won't go back on. We can take care of that. <laughs> well, the hard keys sure sound good, though. It'll be nice to get the matching set, though. Yes, sir. I'm ready for a stew. Let me get out and see what it looks like from the crowd here. Oh, look at that. Can it flash? Does it flash? Awesome. Wow.